have been using the Orico MVME SSD enclosure for over a month now. And this enclosure has performed surprisingly better than I expected. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing if the Orico enclosure is worth your money. But before we begin, this is a tested unit sent to me by Orico, but no money was exchanged and Orico did not have any input in my review, and all opinions expressed in this video are my own. So now that that is out of the way, let's get started. Starting off with the spec of this enclosure, it supports USB and Thunderbolt 4 with a transfer rate of 40 GB, and it will also support USB 3.2 at a maximum rate of 10 GB. This enclosure will work on Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android, as well as smart TV and console. And looking inside the package, there really isn't much other than a USB-C to C cable with a USB-A adapter, and an extra screw, and the tools for installation. The design of the Orico enclosure is compact and is a bit bigger than other enclosures like the ADATA EC700. The striped aluminum alloy shelf which according to the company should help with improving the cooling for this enclosure. And located on the bottom is a removable panel which you'll need to remove to install the NVMe drive. Before installing the drive, you will need to apply the thermal pad onto the heatsink before you can actually insert the drive into the heatsink. The heatsink is shaped like a U shape which according to the company is called cooling vest. So wrap around the drive to enable better contact which should lead to better cooling. But one thing to note is that this heatsink design does make it harder to swap the NVMe SSD. So if you do plan on using multiple NVMe SSD drive, just be prepared to spend the extra time to install and reinstall the heatsink. With the Orico enclosure supporting both USB and Thunderbolt 4, it should be fast. I ran a few different test scenarios and these tests are just for your reference to get an idea what you can expect from this enclosure. My first test was using Blackmagic Disk Speed Test on my Samsung Evo 970 Plus drive and I was able to get 2000 MB for write and 2700 MB for read. And in this test, the starting temperature was at 30 degree and it increased to 43 degree between 30 minutes to 1 hour usage. On my second test using my Western Digital Blue N550, I was able to get 1500 MB for writing and 2300 MB for reading. The temperature started at 30 degree and then it increased to about 45 degree between 30 minutes to 1 hour usage. On my third test, I copy 120 gigabyte of data onto the drive which took about one and a half minute and the drive started at 30 degree and it increased to 35 degrees. My last test was editing 4K video on DaVinci Resolve. The enclosure did get warm to the touch but I did not notice any lags or slowdown while editing videos. Here's what I like about this enclosure. Fast transfer speed, stable temperature, nice design, 2-in-1 USB cable, Support for UASP, but here's what I don't like. The company offers different design enclosure with similar spec, which can get quite confusing. So if you're in the market for a USB and Thunderbolt 4 enclosure for your NVMe SSD, then this Orico enclosure should be on top of your list. So my question to you is, what do you think of this Orico enclosure? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.